Greetings everyone, and Grade here with another Age of Pirates or Age of Mythology replay. This is a live game. Tilbuin. In which, there we go, a little bit of a slow start there. It's on top or bottom left side as the blue Loki of Eduardo 1S2798 versus the red, red Hades. We have Paco Nasa. This is a live game. I had issues loading my replays up, so I'm trying something out with a live game, see how well it goes. Granted, I have no idea the quality is. Usually somebody who ups up a replay it is decent quality, but can't say for sure. You have some sort of build order for blue, at least just when the queue up villagers and to a dwarf going back and forth. Of course, red just goes for villagers. It's, that's just standard. So hoping enough, this is a decent enough game. When it comes to relics on the map down the south side, we do have the Staff Dionysus, give villagers a little bit of health regen, which can be nice. Make it so they can be at full health when they get raided again. Counselors cost less and generate favor. Point zero one's not a whole lot, but it's better than nothing. Probably good for Loki, who has a bit more of a random assortment of favor to say at least. Decks of Emo Hut. Buildings are constructed 10% uh, faster, which is okay. Less important, for, honestly, for the Norse since they use military units to build the structures. And so they don't have to worry about villager mining time. And Chariot of the Sabelli. A pair of lines will automatically respawn, which would be quite nice to have. Saw some sort of circle here. Was it just our watch sentry tower research? Blue it does Forget have this number of villagers on wood. That does not seem right. We do have an age up of Ares, which does give you access to the Cyclopes. And believe it or not, the plural term for Cyclops is Cyclopes. The scout does take a bit of damage there. I'm not sure why Loki's going for some wood. Like I said, I don't know if this is going to be a good or bad replay. Because, oh, he does have enough resources to age up, so he's going for Seti. That's why he's going for wood. I don't know why I didn't think I saw him get queued up. Maybe he was too busy thinking what he should go for. Maybe he was just queued up. I'm probably just overthinking some stuff. House now being built. Very nice. Does claim the lions. So he has a pair of... We'll eventually get a pair of kitty cats go for the Cyclops. Villagers are migrating over here. Maybe I'm for the giraffes. Yep. There's the granary. Store all the grain. Stealing from the giraffes' uh, innards. I did see a couple of blue heresiers on the field. Of course, we do have Ajax as well as Achilles now. Another kitty cat there. This will, of course. Oh, that's the one for lions. Sorry, I must. Uh, he actually got the building faster construction time. It's actually pretty nice for the Greeks. Who did scout out the Rhea's crown, which actually a little bit extra favor is useful for all civilizations. So I think it does mostly positively affect the Norse. So not being built in the field. There's the golden lions. They have 15 damage, but a staggeringly bad attack speed. They are free, so not bad. Golden Lions, some uh, magic lions summoned by a relic. Golden Lions obeys, yada yada, respawn if killed. Don't know the rate of respawn. I don't know if it's an, uh, also classified as a myth unit. Magic lions suggest myth unit, but maybe not. Got a watchtower here. A bit of equal play for both sides. We do have 30 military units versus 25 military units, at least in population. We do now have some hippos now being pulled in the field. Skip. I think the berserker is an auto scout. Was not a bad idea if you just want it just to keep on working like that. A lot Yo. of dwarves here, uh, very idle. We got Fair some of the Hersiers back here, slightly idle. We've got some of the medium rating cavalry not being pulled in the field. Yep. Like I said, uh, lore, the, not lore, uh, live games 
I think it's gonna be on the lower ranking side. I don't know a way to look at the players' rankings. They're just not even rallied somewhere. Red does have a bit of formation. You don't really see the watchtower deployed out at your hunts, which is not a bad idea, honestly. We do have ten or yeah, ten villagers there. The watchtower, I believe, can support up to a ten population space. Yep, the watchtower does. Not a great way to keep them alive, just a way to keep them alive. The best way to keep them alive is simply not letting them get attacked. Got some idle villagers here, and now Red's going be making the first strike or maybe not not paying attention there are a lot, a lot of free could have got a lot of free villager skills Lou has way too much gold at the moment has way too many dwarves collecting up the resources now do you have some more than medium hippos in the field as medium toxapase mm. it's fine to work there if he knows about this gold deposit he could perhaps raid it I think he did. Yep, and now he does. Perfect. That's going to be a lot of dead villagers. These dwarves try to just be sneaky, but that single dwarf gave away these guys. Raiding cavalry pushed right forward, but the hippists don't have to fall back. They're very well statted compared to the raiding cavalry. We also have some uh, herdmen, which are a spearmen, the counter cavalry unit. And Red is going to fall back. He got a great amount of damage down. He is now head by 10 villagers. Bumpers of toxic haze. Maybe mixing the bears to get some pop life from that. And Archilles, Red does lose his army, but they did damage. Herdmen not being. Uh, being employed a few because but I say archers will be a few percent got number three of these shades the attack pretty slow but they do hit pretty hard like those lions lions who move at five so they do move slower than the cavalry at 5.5 petimos you have a healing spring deployed out somewhere he does keep some herdmen here to protect those dwarves More Hersiers being queued on up. Red has Hoa Secondary and Tertiary, or is one of Tertiary's town center. So Red is for a pretty good eco. You know, I thought of all that gold stockpile, I thought Blue was going to age up, but that's simply not the case. Going for a large number of the wrong Axemans. Her series are nice and all. They have good base damage, but their attack speed is a little bit slower. It may only, it may only seem slightly slower, but it's 20% slower than the normal attack rate of one. So do not over or, or overvalue these guys. They do have good health. They seem pretty good on paper, but that 20% increased attack speed is a killer. Or a lack of killer, I should say. Growing Axemen also seem pretty nice. They have massive anti infantry multiplier. Pretty good base damage. But remember as well, they do attack 50% slower, and their range is not super great. Prostagma. In comparison to these Hippus, 12 damage, 1 attack speed. 165 health. Comparing them to Hersir, while well, they don't counter each other, I think that's probably very reasonable. 120. 120. And those guys not only attack faster, but high, have higher base damage and have higher health. Hersir is being hero. Probably should really only eye to gas generate favor and engage myth units. Don't out overvalue them. I think he's overvaluing them a little bit too much. He needs more herdmen. Indrum or yeah, Hydman, Herdman. I don't know how to pronounce it. Base damage is not super great. Good multipliers versus cavalry, that's for sure. And they do have standard attack speed. Health is very reasonable at 100. Lege. Toxes in comparison to throwing axemen do attack uh, approximately 40% faster. 
base damage is higher, but of course the multiplier is a little bit less. But that extra attack speed makes it much more generalist. And also they won't see bonus damage from the throwing axemen. Right now the throwing axemen are will do no uh, damage multipliers against any of these forces. Hey, See here, Hersey is also classified as infantry, so they will receive the slight bonus damage from the toxic. Right, it's also queued up all the available research. Generally, I see people don't research the levy all too much. It does cost 150 resources, it makes your stuff trains 20% faster. Which, if you think about it, a structure costs 100, and that will give you plus 100% uh, deployment. So in order for this to pay for itself, you need 150 resources worth of value. Each one's 100, so you five, having five the, let's just say, archer ranges being reduced by 20%, effectively give you a sixth archer range. Which saves you 100 wood, but you pay 150 for it. So you need not just uh, one more, but you need three more for in order to make it worth in value. So you need eight archer ranges for this uh, to be more valuable than having eight archer ranges. Only time this becomes a bit more useful is you're working at trying to redeploy, get the quickly max pop from previous engagements. During engagements, I should say. So, if you ever see, like, uh, higher-ranking people don't get this research, that's sort of what reason why it's really hard to make these, uh, levies worth anything. Do not have Apollo being researched, which does give you the Manticore. We already have, uh, Njord research. Should give him access to the Mountain Giants. Going to very research, going for a, a lot of stuff. Got a force being put in the field. And since both players are just echoing up a little bit, let's run fast forward a little bit. He's doing a good job escorting those towards around. Red says a far superior economy, that's very for sure. He does have access to underworld passage, so he can rally all of his production structures to a single location and pop them out. Perhaps the middle spawn space. And Red does have a uh, townsman built here, going for a fortress self protected. He's almost at a civilian cap. He does can't. He does spot, it looks like, or maybe he was just rotating around. He does have the fortress there. Now the only axe can clean up, and now we've got the. Hit this, truck the fort. Those are the fortress. But he made this good number of these throwing axemen to the Hippus counterattack. They do have 50% damage multiplier against the ranged units. We do now have the Petrobol something research. Red needs for this fox phase. There's walking woods there that can cause some issues. Golden Lions, Metal C4, hit this flank. We got some trolls to troll around. Got some more Pedromos in front of him, but count the cowboy in. Hit this gets an excellent flank here to throw an axe. Got a couple of mount giants here. Blue has a good amount of mission. I think he's got a cost of three missions in this engagement as well, being Loki. Red is lacking his heroes. That's an oversight. That fortress could have bought the heroes. He is aging up both to, uh, to Artemis, who gave you access to the Chimera and to Earthquake, if I remember correctly. Oh. 
Cyclops does throw that cavalry. Of course, and retold, it no longer one shots units. Got some uh, uh, Podromos back here, who does have a bit of divine damage now, probably from upgrade. Looks like it affects both the uh, Prodromos and the Hoplite. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> uh, excuse me, I'm getting some hiccups. Earthquake can destroy quite a bit of terrain. I don't know why. The Earthquake icon just feels weird. It looks just... It almost looks like it's actually rendered a scene on the map and made into a picture. It just feels weird. It doesn't fit in with any of the other icons. Is it just me? Or just me. But to me, it just feels like it's actually just a picture from the game and put into a and turned into an icon rather than a artistic rendition. Which could be pretty funny, honestly, the more you think about it. We got a line of heroes here if you can pull up a red. He knows this opponent has a good number of myth units. Uh, I'm not sure what relics he's obtained. Red has obtained just the two relics. The other two relics are still in the field, so those are still up on the grab, looks like. What if I town center is on the field? Go to quite a bit of beating. Red could try counterattacking. But right now, Red has actually a larger military force on the field as well, if I'm reading this correct. Red's just trying to save up his champion upgrades and other gold research, so he's going to try to uh, do perhaps a time attack with a tech advantage. His opponent does have, have heavy units. Oh, we're just medium raiding cavalry. Queuing up more giants. Wait, did I just see two giants that popped out there? Huh. I don't know why. I almost looked like there was two. I thought two giants came out. It's unless uh, Loki got some sort of change where he now gets two minutes for the price of one. Not sure. Or maybe I just wasn't paying close enough attention. That's probably the case. Yeah, got a number of Erdmen now pulled in the field. Just punch that cow unit. That was originally just a fact that was only applied to dwarves with mountain giants. But now it's been applied to everything. Red does is the fourth may go down. Perseus does do something there. It does cause the sentries around the fortress there. Very nice. We've got the fact that you can cast on other targets now. And fortresses. Providing them a little bit extra defense. They don't appear to get any increased stat spawn aging up, but it may be affected by other things. Ah, oh, they build faster. I have no idea that's effective. Oh, apparently. Generations. Increase the towers, uh, range of towers and cause the buildings to deal bonus damage. Ballistics, of course. Decent. I didn't even realize this affected them. Hmm. Now, now you know. Oh, ox cart died. Monster. He's aging up now to Tyrir, which does give you access to the Fenris Wharf Brood and to Fimble Winter. Winter. When he sees Fimble Winter, he could perhaps deploy out more sentinels around his town so to keep him safe. Some of these farms have a bit of a longer drop off. He could have got some granaries around them. He's also going for some donkey caravans. There's plenty of gold in the map. Unless he wants more civilian queues, civilians on the field. Of course, you are maxed out at 100. Clear to that. But he still has room for more villagers. But maybe he just wants more military population space. It's not a bad idea either. 
Got, he's also at max pop cap. He's going for some more of the bronze weapons, even copper shield. So he's a little bit far behind in these research. You know how they draft horses there. forward exotic kitty cats getting a bit of damage there healing spring will heal up that damage he can get closer to the temple to get healed on up though he may or may not have healing temple researched doesn't appear to be various research well being researched more chimeras from Plone Field. Chimeras are pretty good versus infantry with a flame effect. We now have a couple units here. Could perhaps uh, turn one of these mountain giants into uh, stone. If he turns off the auto casting, he may be able to. He should be able to mainly target himself. That may be a good idea to micro the crap out of Perseus. That really is powerful. And we got Titan Gate now pulled in the field. Good flame burst there by the Chimera. Sheep. And now we got Fungal Winter active. More Chimera's pull on the field. Registered for the guy who says Fungal Winter's going to get a bit more closer. He's at 83 at the moment. He's going to bump back to that. He's got a pretty stone in the giant. More Fungal Troubles, more of the years before. Chimera now faints once again. I'm not sure what's causing the poison effect. Three mountain giants. Fire giant. That's actually pretty good. Loki's free. The kid is being very powerful here. Disables production. That is very good. Once he's down 70 villagers, he lost some. That means he can block more of those He has a good stock power. I have no idea how close the type gate is. Pretty simple. Quake. So it's actually the for the Underworld Passage. And it looks like Blue does back in the game. Sangre, it's anything watching, and on to the next replay.